Yo, what's good, YouTube? We back with another video. Second vid. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I said I was gonna get a cut second vid. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of like three days old, but you know what I'm saying? The cut's still there. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck, man? Nah, nah, nah. I'm not gonna lie. If you a nigga and you didn't just skip that part, you gay, nigga. <laughs> no, but let's get on with the vid. Uh, today we about to be reacting to uh, whose body is the most attractive on Jubilee. One of my homies, Young Shamar, requested for me to watch this. I don't know what it's gonna be about. I don't know, but we about to get into with the video. But shout out to Young Shamar too for letting me use his uh. His webcam, cause that's <laughs> W man. So I'm not gonna lie. I will just drop. I'm put in the description. But let's get on with the video. I see particular body type on the internet or in the media, and I know that I want that, so I work for that. Like when you see on social media and stuff, it's just kind of like very glamorized. Growing up, I I thought like, okay, if I want to be attractive, I have to have like six packs. I'm not gonna lie. Thirteen seconds in, and I'm not gonna lie. These niggas sound a little zesty. <laughs> what you got me reacting to, Sham? What's going on, bro? <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. Let's get on with the vid. I feel like I would be ranked last just because I don't really fit that type of standard. I mean, you just get a bunch of like random dudes in a room and be like, just go out in your underwear. You expect it to be really weird and awkward. Let's see how much <laughs> people hate us right now. Ariel, why don't you switch with um, Omari? Um, oh, it's based off the. Oh, okay, okay, I'm tripping, I'm tripping. Based off the attractiveness. Okay. Uh, Albert switch with Omari. Albert switch with Omari. And Albert switch with Omari. already? Come on. Are you a Roblox fanatic? Microsoft Rewards has a brand new way for you to earn digital gift cards from Roblox. And this is how the world has voted most attractive body type. I totally understand. I'm not gonna lie. Wait, no homo, no homo, ayo, hey, like, let's be real. But, like, yeah, like, this nigga right here, black shorts at number one, yeah, that's where I would put him too. Like, nigga, you know, he buff, you know, uh, <laughs> He, you know, he got the, he, he built, and then this nigga's, you know, he a little, he's skinny, but he a little, you know what I'm saying? And then, I don't know what's going on with these three, but, yeah. Yeah, like, I'll put these two at the top two if I was in this situation, but no homo, don't be weird in the comments. And this is how the world has voted most attractive body type. I totally understand the audience ranking because if you're looking at just physicality, not even knowing our personalities or who we are, of course we're gonna have, you know, sexy six pack over here and, you know, me I over mean, here. Why not? Isn't that what it is, nigga? Like, whose body is most attractive? Yeah, like, why do I need to get to know you to, <laughs> to see whose body is most attractive? No homo. I don't know how I'm talking about be saying no homo in this video because. <laughs> Breaking under men bodies. Why this thing got me reacting to this? <laughs> no, but <laughs> I think Latinos are hella sexy, so I don't get why we're <laughs> over here. Come on, guys, but I respect this. I like it. How do y'all feel? I'm comfortable, but I don't know. At the end of the day, it's it's hard for me to really judge on it. I guess the audience has voted. <laughs> <laughs> I was expected to be probably more down the line, maybe like three or four. Growing up, I was al always like, you know, told like, hey man, you look like a twig or you're very skinny. I feel like it's pretty okay to feel comfortable when you're the two slot though. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, this is fine. I'm the second hottest in the room, I guess I'm okay with it. I think it makes sense for the way that like, I think people generally view the world just based on like, what you see in the media, social media, whatever. Uh, do I think that it makes sense for anyone as an individual? Not necessarily. Yeah, I'm not I'm not shocked because uh, I mean when I was younger growing up That's exactly the body type that I wanted to look like my whole life. I like compare myself to that. So I I think uh, it's It's expected. Mm -hmm. So I I'm not like uh, surprised, but I 
I did have a little bit more hope. How do you feel about being like in the middle? Do you feel like you should be farther ahead? Actually, I was shocked because growing up and stuff, like my mom always told me that like, you know, you'd be more attractive if you gained a little bit, a little bit more weight. That's why like I thought that I would be last just because that society probably just thinks that skinny guys don't deserve love. But I feel like they do though. You do. Yeah. <laughs> we love you. When I was a child and stuff, I would always compare myself to like these older and attractive men that had abs and that had chest. I didn't even know like, what I was watching, but I was kind of like just intrigued that I wanted to be that already. Like for me, I, I'm not sure how old everyone is, but you know, I grew up in the whole like Abercrombie and Fitch era. Uh -huh. Like you walk in, it's like six pack abs like on the wall. <laughs> like I'm not gonna lie, like that motivated me. Like I wanted that growing up. Do you, any of you guys think it's wrong to want to look like another body type? Yes, <laughs> because I feel, me personally, no. Nah, I, I don't think nothing wrong with, you know, wanting to look like a, specific body type because yeah there's nothing wrong with that just don't be on no you know weird shit like i want to be that guy like like if you you know have a little like like if you have like a a body type like you inspire to be like yeah that's cool there's nothing wrong with that because like you know as a young man everybody want to you know have a good looking body you know everybody want to look good so yeah there's nothing wrong with that bro um, I had a similar, you know, thing to you, where I used to be, you know, uh, roughly like 110 pounds bigger, and I remember people treating me a certain way. Dating was very tough, people didn't want to, you know, date the type I was, and then I lose all this weight, and I start getting treated differently. And it really showed me, like, I was the same person, and I wanted so bad to look like a certain type and lose a certain amount of weight, but in the day, like, I was like, I almost kind of hate the way society is treating me as a smaller person. Well, that, that's definitely an interesting answer, but me personally, like if I were to answer- I mean, I, 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 I feel him, but like, hmm. I mean, I feel him, but like, don't you ever, like, no offense to him, but like, you know, like, like even if no one was, I feel like, well, for me personally, even if no one was really judging me, for that question. I think it's it's fine to want a certain body type because for me, I just use it as fuel, like motivation. Like I'm just gonna try to drive as much as I can to get to that point. Mm -hmm. I think for me, it's like there's a difference between it being like a, a motivator, something you love, something you're passionate about, and something that can like deeply consume you into like a dark hole. And it's going to that dark hole where like check yourself. So as a group, do you guys ever like get any like criticism or is it a lot of like self-criticism? Because sometimes your own thoughts can like sabotage you. I think a lot of it for me is self-criticism. Like I know I'm ranked all the way over here, but like when I look in the mirror, I still see like five things, 10 things I don't like about myself and that I still want to change about myself. Yeah. Uh, so a lot of it really is self-imposed, definitely influenced by the people around you. So I still have work to do myself. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, and be there. Yeah. But also surrounding yourself with individuals who like want the best for you is also good. After I work out, so I'm like, wow, I look like the sexiest, hottest person on this earth right now. Like, you are the I could. <laughs> this video is sponsored by FaceCheck, an app that will help you climb and increase your rank by providing you with a lot of useful details. Like, I could like really date myself if I want to, but then I'm not gonna just because like I would want to give other people the chance. But then like. <laughs> <laughs> but then like when I look back on it like sometimes I do like have like my low days where I'm like I look like the trashiest rat in the garbage for me personally a lot of like my criticism was like projected by other people I was plus size my whole life so I would like I would get made fun of uh, in like elementary and stuff like that they would call me like Ariel the little big mermaid and stuff like that oh like this kid smells or Or like this kid, uh, somebody farted, it was definitely this kid. Like, I think I carry that a lot throughout my life. And like, I, I definitely want to like get healthy, but it's no longer about like being a certain body type. And you know, when I lost 120 pounds, 
the first thing, one of my idols, like somebody. So he's still working right now, so let me chill. But yeah, 120, that's a lot to get rid of. So, biggest that I really I'd like in my life. The first thing that I heard is like, oh, you looked, you looked, uh, you looked better when you were you were fatter. Um, so it's like, it's like you can never please anybody. Um, so yeah. you just gotta. Is this nigga about to cry? Yeah, that's it's tough. Like. Man. Yeah, you just gotta do, live for yourself and like or, do what makes you happy and however you feel best is is the model. So, I'm I'm very open to being placed anywhere. I don't know which side to go on, so I might as well just put myself in position three. Oh my God, be in the middle, the maybe. <laughs> if we're ranking each other in terms of attractiveness, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go with the, the people who I feel energy-wise, who I think I'd be most attractive to in like a hangout <laughs> scenario. There you go. There you like, go. who can I vibe in? He's like, I don't know if we can. <laughs> We were talking earlier, we were talking earlier, so I'd put you guys more ahead because I think in a friendship I'd be like more attracted to like, we got a beer with you guys, hang out. You seem really cool, but I think I'd put you- And bro, and when I, you know, say he should be first, blah, blah, I'm not talking about, I'm not saying I'm attracted to this nigga. I'm not, I'm, I'm just, you know, doing the vid, bro. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm attracted to this nigga at all. Like, chill, don't be weird in the comments. Cause yeah. <laughs> you at three right, and then um i am not in college anymore and i don't remember what that was like i don't know if we could have a ton of stuff to get along with but i'd put you at four and i hate hanging out alone so i'm going to five. Oh, this is wait actually 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 i would probably do him first no homo bro like let's like i'm just going off body like like, let's just say what I would rather be, not what I'm most attractive to. Like, let's be real. Like, what would I, you know, what do I see? Like, I mean, if I'm doing what I, what would I rather do, what what would I rather be? It'll be this nigga, but not as buff as this nigga, though. Like, like kind of like him, but just a little, you know, a little bit more. But yeah, like, I, actually, I might, I might actually do... Him first, then him, then him. So first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. Yeah, yeah. I'd rather do that. It's tough, Eric. I think you're uh, an awesome dude. I, no offense I to none of these guys, though. Like, you know, just. Work on yourself, bro. Try to get to where you want to be. If this is not where you want to be, if that's what you want to be, hey, <laughs> live your life, bro. I definitely think you should be over here. You've been like open and warm and like a fun bro. So. <laughs> <laughs> what spot would you put me in? Though? Who are you switching? Yeah. Amari, I think you've been in the first position <laughs> for a while. <laughs> I'm more than happy to. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga lying, bro. You can. Tell it, you can tell in this nigga eyes that he want to stay there. Like, don't, don't lie, nigga. In the first position for a while. I'm more than happy to. Cap at, bro. Nigga, we know you want to be there, bro. <laughs> Let's be real, bro. You know you want to stay there. Stop. <laughs> oh my god, number two. Oh. <laughs> but like. They're kind of they're going off personality, or they're like, "Oh, you've been a you've been I've been cool with you, cooling with you this whole vid." That's not what the video is, bro. It's whose body is most attractive, no homo, and it's like it has nothing to do with how you act, bro. It's about your body. Let's be real. I guess I'll be that too. And then one more. <laughs> All right. Myself here. Oh, this is weird. <laughs> now, I would be... I, this would be weird for me, too, if I was in this situation. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> but I would never be in this... Uh, nah, I would never be in this situation. Probably in a Jubilee vid, but not this kind of type of vid. But yeah, like, this would be so weird for me, too, bro. I mean, like, non-physically, I think personality-wise, there are definitely people in this group that I think, you know, much more, you know, open and outgoing in a way that, like, I wish that I could be. A lot of my confidence is rooted in my physical appearance, and I will be very honest with that. Um, but I'm actually gonna go to a three. Avi, I think I will put you at a one. 
Eric at a two, oh. and then Ariel at a four. <laughs> Damn. Damn. That's, that's tough. This nigga not even talking no more. He's just, he's just there. Damn. <laughs> I'll put myself last just because I feel like I'm more like laid back and reserved and like I don't really like take the initiative as much and I don't really kind of like show my personality like to kind of like random people. Avi. Why do you keep talking about personality? It's not about personality, bro. I'm sorry, but that's just not. That's just not what it's about, bro. It's, <laughs> it's about your body. Like, what? Why do you keep talking about personality? I put you as four just because. Okay. Um, your number four is just your vibe, your spot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that is the uh, nicest way to be like you're the four. <laughs> it's just your energy. <laughs> and then I would actually have Omari be three. Um, just because like you can't feel like the neutral stance of like being like introvert but also extrovert too But also because like you kind of stand the ground between the skinnies and Bro, am I tripping? Introvert, outrovert, bro am I... Wait, hold up bro Whose body is the most attractive ranking? What is this nigga talking about? Introvert out what? Bro, this is a whose body is most attractive, nigga. What are you talking about? And that was what the thickies as well. <laughs> what? Hey yo, come on, like <laughs> This nigga's this nigga's zesty, bro. Um, <laughs> I would actually put Ariel at number two. Eric, you're number one just because like you embrace like your body no matter like what anyone else thinks. I feel like that's the type of like mentality I want to have no matter what. I loved that. That was, that was beautiful. That was great. Beautiful. I feel so warm. Thank you. Okay, are you guys happy? I'm stoked about this. I'm totally okay with this one. I won't say no. Like I said, I'll probably have this nigga first, then, then this nigga, and then this nigga, then, wait, yeah, I think I said this nigga fourth. I'm not gonna lie, I don't, I don't really know, like, they, they can be fourth or fifth, I don't really, I don't really know, I don't really know. I'll, Hmm. I'll, I'll just put him for it. But it don't matter to me. And it fit. Yeah, I don't know why I agreed with this lineup the first time. <laughs> yeah, this is... Nah, I don't really agree with this lineup. Based off of, like, how well I got to know each and every one of them, in that sense, I do feel like it was the... It was a good fit. <laughs> I don't know, it's really, it's hard. I acknowledge that attractiveness isn't only physical. A lot of it has to do with personality, how you interact with other people, how you make them feel. I know that there are things that I want to work on, which is why I ranked myself at a three, but then there are other people who I felt outshine me. So I think the most beautiful thing is this. Who did you feel outshine you, bro? <laughs> why are you lying? Did this nigga even give a rating? Did he even say anything? Bro, why is this nigga lying? Let me see. Five things, ten things I don't like about myself and that I still want to change about myself. Bro, yeah. this nigga uh, so did a lot of it. Bro, that's the end of the video. Tune in. Next video is on Wednesday or Thursday. So be ready for that. And we out.